yeah so today class i will explain the what are the props in the react so what are the props in the react so in a previous class i already explained what is the state in the react state in the react components means the local data of the components you call the state in the react components okay now now i will explain the what are the props in the react props in the react means the data comes from outside to a component for example you have a component if you want data some data for the component from the outside the data is called the props okay so for example some components they need the prop they need some data so we need, so we need to pass the data to that component from the outside so the the data what we pass from the outside to to the component is called the props if you understand so if you want any data from the outside of the component then those are called the props for example let's take this is the function uh, let's take we have the app component okay the app component i have the header component the footer component okay in the header component i i define the header component in the functional way and the footer component in the class way okay forget about that now i want to pass some data from from app component app component to to do this header component so for this header component i want the data from the outside okay let's see how we write for example this is a function you know same as like javascript if javascript function if you want any data from the outside to that function what we will do you will define the some will some arguments in the function definition we will define the some arguments in the same way in the same way in the react functional components the arguments passed to to, to the function are called the props okay for, for example i have for example i have the i want color comma i want i want the color property and i want some uh, something uh, i want some name okay i want some name and i want some color so for this component i want some name some some color so here i will display this to these things like so here i am passing i am showing the color like so here color here color is a variable so i want to define this variable here okay and the same thing name so here for the header component i have i want the color 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 the have two variables color and name these two variables does not have the data this two variables data is coming from the from the arguments of that function so nothing but property properties of that component okay so here color and name are the props of the header component right so here this color data and data we are getting from the outside so here color and name are the props of the, the component let's see now the app component i enter the header component but for this header component i need to pass the color value name value okay so from the app component to this header component i am passing the properties like what like this like attributes like color equals i give some red okay name equal to i am giving like like testing <coughs> so for this header component i am getting the color data name data from the outside okay so now have color and red are the props props of the this header component let's see how it will look if people understand right yeah yes yes so for this, for this header component for this header component i need the color data name this the this data is coming from the outside of the app component
okay so i am starting the so from the app component i am passing the color value name value so color so here color red the color name are the props of the header component so let's see how it will look like so local host See, I got the red, I got the testing. So actually the header component, I don't have this color data and this name data. This data coming from the outside of the component. So here in this way, we can pass the, here in this way, we can pass the color value, name value, okay? So color value, name value. So here we are getting the data from the outside to this component here. That's why here color and names are the props of the header component. So you see the you see the functional component. So this for this functional component, I am passing the props from the outside like this. So here I need to define the arguments of I need to define the what are the required props for this for this functional component. So I need to define some arguments like an object. So like an object, I need to define what are the props I need to require here. Those props I need to pass from the outside the component. Okay, this is how we are maintaining the props in the functional components. Okay, now let me explain the how we are maintaining the props in the class component. For example, I write the footer component in the I write the footer component in the class way. Okay, now for, for this footer component, I need the props. So how how I will how, how I need to maintain props in the class component. I will explain the how to maintain the props in the functional component. But now I want to explain the how to how to I need to maintain the props in the functional component. Okay, for example, whatever you pass to this component. Whatever pass you to do this component, what are the properties of this component that is coming in the variable like props? Okay, for props, for example, in a footer from the, from the app component, I need to pass data from the to the footer. Okay, I need to pass some data to the footer. But here I did not mention the but here I did not mention the any. Props, it is what are required in the mention. Okay. For example, I, here I will pass the BG color like blue. BG color like blue. And and uh, nickname, like nickname, okay. Uh, like tiger, okay. So now I'm passing the data to the footer component. What what I'm passing? I'm passing the BG color value, nickname value. Now how to? I need to get this data. How to access these properties in the class component? I will I will access the props in the class component using the props variable. For example. Here, I will show the, I will show the what is the BG color data, but you know, back, background color data, okay? Back color, okay? So here, so now I want to access this data, this BG color, how I will access this data is the props data, props variable. So like this dot props dot BG color, okay? The same way, I have the nickname. I, I I pass the nickname. Okay, nickname. Okay, here we did the nickname. Let's run the code. I get it. I, I get it. And the share it. Okay. I shared that this now. So now to the footer component from the outside, I pass the BG color nickname. This data I pass to the footer component. 
So now this data is the properties of the this footer component. So I am accessing the properties of this footer component, the class component using this the props. Let's see. See, see, yeah, the no data is coming. Why? See, I, I this here this prop the BG color. Same I pass it from here, right? BG C O N R, sorry, BG C O N R. And second one is the nickname. Okay, let's see. Yeah, BG color, right? See, BG color, the nickname, maybe nickname is spelling it wrong, wrong. nickname. Spelling is wrong. Right, right, I got a BG color. So, in the, if you, so the data which is coming from, coming from the outside to that component are called the props, props of the component. Are you, are you clear this number one? Number two, we are getting the data, so we are passing the data to a component like in this way. Like in this way, we are passing to, a, to the data, we can pass the data to a component in this way. So these are called the properties of this component. In the class component, we get the outside data, like we, are, we, are, we can access the props data using the this, that, props, that, something. Okay, but in the functional component, we define the, the functional component, we, we can define the arguments. You can define the arguments. Here, we can do other, other things also, like, so this is a spread operator. I already told you the spread operator. So, if you, if you pass the n number of arguments to your function, we use the spread desktop operator. So, so whatever you pass, it will in the, it will come here. So let's see. So here, color name is comes from the props. So let's see props dot color is coming or not. Here props dot name. It's coming. Right, nothing. Here I think I need to give like uh, here, I think so. See, so if you want to make the props, you can use the stop right in the functional component, you can make it like this. Then props that color, props that name. Otherwise, we can pass the individual argument also. So the, if we want to maintain the props data in the class component, we use the this dot props. If we want to use the props data in the function component, we can use the rest of the props and directly we can access the props that color, props that name. What, whatever data you pass from the outside, we can access here. So the data which are coming from the outside to your component is called the props. Okay. This is the concept about the props. Let's see some theoretical props. So, if anyone asks what are the props, what are the props anyone comes, when you declare a component and a function, some, some input data we need to require for the class. So some data is required for this component that is called the props. Okay. I think you, you people understand, right? Yeah, yes. No. Uh, I will explain what are the pure components, what are the impure components. Okay, pre, pre, before going to this one, I will need to explain what are the pure, what are the pure component, pure functions, what are the impure impure functions. Okay. I will explain the tomorrow class. What the, before that, tomorrow class I will explain the what are the pure components, what are the impure components. Okay. Before going to that one. You need to you need to understand what are the pure functions, what are the impure functions. Please go through that one. I will explain mm -hmm. tomorrow class what are the pure components, what Hello. are the impure, impure components. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Ah, so can can we uh, can we pass functions uh, to mm -hmm. the outside uh, pure yes. component? Yes. Yes. Good point. No. As per said, How can we do that? Yeah. As said, now you are passing now only the normal data. If you want to pass a function, you need to pass the function handler. What is the function handler? For example, in the app corporate, I create the function. 
I create a function. I create a, I create a function, uh, click, collect, uh, get, uh, get data. I create a function, get data. Okay, I create a function, get data. Okay. So here I, I am writing the console.logger. Actually, I will explain in the further classes, like in the, when, when I come the, coming the topic of the events, I will explain. Anyhow, I will tell you, no. okay? I create, now I create a, I create a function, get data in the app component. Now I want to pass this function to the header component. So then we need to give a name, like any name, as for as you wish, like uh, same name or like, like data, data event, okay, handle data, okay? Handle data, okay, do this, do this, do this, I am passing the not the value, not the string. I am passing the function. To pass the function, I use the parent. That is dynamic data. That's why I use the parentheses. I mean, curl brackets. With the curl brackets. I need to pass the function handler. Get data. Okay. Get data. Okay. Here I am passing the get data to the handle data. I am passing the get data function handler to the header component with the name handle data. Okay. Now, come go to the header component. Here, I have, a, I put it on other button, other button, like. Here, I have just a minute, just a minute. So here, I have a button, handle data, right? So if I click this button, I want to call the, this function from the outside function. I already passing this to this function here, right? I already passing this function with the name, I pass a function handler to this property, to this property. So for example, in the header component, if I click this button, Okay, this function, I write the error function. I am calling the, the property, which property I call the property, uh, handle data property. This is the function, right? So, what props dot handle data, right? So here handle data is the properties of the header component. For this property, I pass the value, this function handler, okay? So, if I click, I'm calling the, the this, this property. This property has the value, this function handler, right? So if I click this one, I'm calling the handle data. This handle data have the, this function handler, get data function handler. So automatically it will call, let's see. So handle data, I, uh, so if it's the handle data, let's see, nothing will happen, something is missing. Okay, let's see. So here, this is the function, right? So let's see, here you call the function. Okay. Tell later. I go, you got right, hi, right? So you are, pass, you are calling the parent function from the child, the child component. You are, you are calling a function of the parent component into the child component. How you need to pass the that function handler as a property to that function, to the, to the component. You need to pass the a function handler as a property of to the child component. So now the child component has a property handle data. So in the, in the header component, I have the handle data property as a, as a function. So it holds the function handler. Okay, when we click, I'm calling the, that function. I'm calling this, I'm calling this property means I'm calling the this one. That's why I call the this function. In this way, we can pass function handlers also as a or as a property to a component. So we can we can pass a function handlers also as a property to other components. So, so we can pass properties to a component not only 
data. We can also pass the events functions also. If people understand, now you got the idea? You don't is clear? Uh, sir, uh, one second. So from parent, we are sending a function, right? To the function child. Handler. Yeah, function handler. See, function handler to the, to the child component. Yeah, yeah yes, yes. Uh -huh. To the child component. Uh, so if we click in the child component, yeah. so uh, the function will trigger in the parent class. Yes. Yeah. Right. If you click the event, I'm causing the the I'm calling the my 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 pro my property only. I have a property handle data. I already get the data. That means this all function, this all function definition, I got as data in my component. Okay, all function definition I got the in my component. So if it if it like if you click this button, I am calling that function definition only. So it's again going it's not it's not going to this function. So I already got the all the function definition into this variable, into this variable, right? Now in this component I have the function definition. Any doubt? Hello. So you are confused or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, actually, so we are uh, uh, triggering a function in child component. Yeah. So that function it will call in the parent, right? So like... Uh, it will not, it will not call in the parent. That. That's what I'm saying. It will not call uh -huh. in the parent. It will not call in the parent. We are already getting the, that function definition into my component. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. And you are right. So you are you know, I'm calling the function. This I'm calling this function. Okay, what is your doubt? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. If we click in the child component, it will call, right? Get data function, it will yes. call and it will give the I, I yes. message. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, it is in parent component only, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm again. Uh, yeah. uh, we are sending the handler. If we click in child also. Uh, it is uh, triggering in the parent. Yeah, parent components function. Mm -hmm. For example, so here. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, here. Uh, For example, let, 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 I understand you without. For example, here I have the. Uh, let me take one variable, one state variable, one local variable, like constant. Okay. Main title. I am taking the variable main title. Okay. Uh -huh. ah, sir, sir, one second. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, one second. So get data. There you you take one parameter, any parameter. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Let me, let me explain. Let me uh -huh. explain. Okay. I'm creating a variable main title. Okay. And set title. Okay. Set uh, title. Let's take set title. Okay. So this is default value having like you, you know local state. I already ex explained the stored state in the react okay you you know you know this right yes yes sir yeah i have the my uh, initial uh, for example i have initial initial title initial title okay so so i'm calling this variable main title so app component that means the parent component have a variable main title okay right so it will so the parent component has the initial main title, initial title. Okay. You understand? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh is it still clear? Uh, yes, sir. So uh, the parent component has a variable, initial title. Now from the function from the child component. I want to handle this data, parent components data. So through the function handlers, I will do. So what I will do is in this function, I will call set title. That means I want to change this data, this variable, right? Okay. This is the change title. Okay. Let's see, this is the change title. So initially the parent component have this data, initial title, okay? If I click this, if I click 
this water from the chill component, I am changing the parent component's data, right? Let's see. Yes, sir. So here initial data is there. If you click the handle data, it will change, right? So from the chill component, I am changing the parent component's data using the functions, okay? So if anyone asked, how you say how you change the parent component data from the child components? Then you need to answer. I will create a function in the parent component to change the data of that parent component. Now I will pass the, that fun, that I will pass the that function handler to the child comp as a child component property. So now from the child component, if you click the any event, I will call this property automatically. This method will call. And that uh, that app parent component data will change. In this way, we can change the parent component data from the child component. Any doubts? Any doubts now? No. Uh, no. Correct. So in this yeah. way, this is called data binding concept. If anyone asks how to pass data from the parent to child, how to you pass the data from child to parent? In, now. Now you are passing the data from parent to child, like we were passing the data testing to the child couple. Now, how you pass the child data to the parent? For example, for this function, I want to give this data, right? This data I, will, I need to pass from the child couple. Then, for example, I have the title here, okay? This title value, I will pass this function, okay? Sorry. Sir, uh, set title, uh, this is change title is there, right? So there, uh, that data, uh, can we pass from the child to parent? That yeah, of course, that is what I'm saying. Which is that you are telling? Yes, sir. Uh, here, here we can pass the data. Sir, set see, title. now what I'm doing, I have a title, title value in my child component. Okay. I, I have a title value, my child comp, like this is the first title. So this data I'm passing to the parent component. Let's see, for example, here this is the parent component, initial title, right? Right, this is the, uh, this is the first, this is the child component. Now I want to pass this child component data to the parent component. Is it ten? Is it passed? I pass the child component to the parent component. How I pass? I pass the argument to the function handler, right? You understand? Ah, yes, sir. So what I do is this. I have a property function handler. I passing the data from my child component to this parent component function handler. Automatically, I'm changing the parent component title here. So in this way, we can we can send the data from parent component to child component. And if you want to pass a data from parent component to child components, we use the props. But if you want to pass the child component to parent component, then we need to pass a function handler from the parent component to that, to that, to that function handler. I need to pass the data from child component to parent component. Okay, if people understand, right? Yes, sir. So from uh, yes, sir. Uh, parent to child, we will get through props. And from we, if you have to send a data from child, we you need to send event. a function. We can, call the events. We, can, we can call the events. This call functions are events. Function handlers are event. events, event emitters. Okay. So if anyone asks how to communicate between the, the components in the React from parent to child using the props, you can compone it, we can communicate. From parent child, if you from child to parent, through the event functions or event emitters, we can pass the data from child to parent. Do people understand? Got it. And 
tomorrow i will explain uh, uh, so, so and one more thing for example i have other component let's see i have other component the other component for example uh, let's say i create other component like uh, menu menu something menu is menu is i, have, I create the one menu component in, okay let's see i create the menu component let's see for example just show it I have menu component, right? I'm, I'm passing this menu component, I'll child out the header component. For example, header component here, right? In the header component, I'm calling the menu component. No. So here, I'm passing the color value from the, here, the hierarchy is there. Where parent is the app, the app component, is the, I have the header component, and the header component, I have the child component menu, right? Hierarchy is there. So menu, menu, menu is the child component, is parent is the header component, is header component's parent is the app component. Right? Now you are passing the this color value from the app component to header component. So shall I use this this uh, this uh, color value into menu component directly? Can you shall I use like this? Shall I get like shall I get like this or not? I will get or not. I I call this menu component I call the header component header header component. Header component I call the app component. Now I pass the data from app component to header component, a value color. Can I access this color value directly into my into chain the, the second chain? I mean in the other components, menu components. Shall I shall we accept or not? Hello? Yes, I think I think yes. Why? Okay, let's see. See, I don't get the color value. I get only the header component. The menu component. No, I, I think menu also child component, right? Yeah, menu also child component. Yeah. Menu also child component. But menu but menu also child component. But why is not get data? Because I am passing data app component from app component to all header components, not to the menu component, right? So to, to this menu component, I need to pass the data. I, I pass the data. I pass any data. So I cannot pass any data to this menu component. That's why I cannot get direct. I cannot directly. You are passing to only to the header component, not to the menu component. So directly you cannot from so for example a, a c a, a to b b to c c to d you cannot directly pass data from a to do d you need to pass from a to, to b from b to, to c and c to do d in the same way you need to pass from the app to header and then header to the uh, middle like this you need to pass data like here yeah. Right? So directly we cannot pass from the parent to inner, inner components. We need to pass one by one, step by step, right? So for example, yeah, I have A component, is child B component, B component has a child C component, C component has the child D component. I need I cannot pass directly from A component to D component. I need to pass there if you want to pass data from A component to D, D component, you need to pass from A to B, A component to B, B to C, C to D. So like this, I need to pass from the app to header, header to menu. So in the menu, I need to pass data from header compass props. Right? You understand, right? Now I got, you understand, right? In this way? Got it. So in this way, we cannot pass directly from one component to chill compass. We need to pass step by step. Okay? Okay. Yeah. This is the props. 
prop stopping. And we need to pass the chain component also as a property. I will I will explain tomorrow. I will explain tomorrow. Okay, we can we can we can we can pass the. So we are we are passing the some normal data as a we can pass normal data. We can pass functions also as a proper. So as a prop as a prop, you can pass the normal data. We can pass functions and also we can pass component also. We can pass components also. Directly we can pass components also. How? I will explain it tomorrow. How we pass a, a component as a props of other components. I will explain it tomorrow. We, you know, you know one topic. What are the higher higher order functions? Anyone know? What are the higher order functions? What are the higher no, order functions in the JavaScript? No, I heard, but uh, we don't know how it will work. I will explain in my, my classes, in my JavaScript class video, you can see what the, the higher, higher order functions means. If we, if we pass, think... yeah. if we pass a function as an argument to the other function, then, then that function, for example, if, if a function takes, for example, if a function takes, other function, another function as an argument that is called the higher other function. For example, I have the a, a function, b, b function. A function takes the a function handler as an argument. A function takes the a function handler as an argument. Then a, a function is the higher other function. Okay? So we can pass the b, b function as an argument to the a function. That is the higher other function. The same way, if you, if you we can pass a, a component as a property of to the other other component, then other component is a higher other component. I will ex, I will I will explain tomorrow again. What are the higher other components? What are the pure components? What are the pure components? I will explain it tomorrow class. Okay, that's it for today. Today I will explain the what are the props, how to pass the props in the functional component and class component, how to pass data from parent component to child component, how to pass data from child component to parent component. How do we pass the data from higher from parent to interchange, interchange components? Till now, you have any doubts? All right.